nobody said exactly what it was going to be like. I knew that it was something about a motorbike, and I knew it was going to be beige. And they said sort of cat suit, and I went, OK. It was completely unexpected. It's a Chanel superwoman, I think. We wanted there to be similarities between the two so that you can definitely see that it's the same family, but this is a very different vibe. I think she's grown up. It's just the same character three years on. She's very much a character, um, and that's what I like, you know, that's what I do. So I like inventing these characters. I think I'd find her quite terrifying, but I really want to be her. But I'm not, unfortunately. <laughs> I think if I could spray enough perfume on, I'd turn into that character. Maybe I'll give it a go. She's full of mischief, and I like that a lot. But she's also very strong, powerful, doesn't need anybody. Independent, I suppose. I think that's cool. I've worked with Jo five times now. We have a shorthand, you know, we barely need to speak to each other. We just completely get it. I know what he wants, I know what he likes, he knows what I like, he knows how to kind of push me in directions. We have a really great working relationship. I think it's important to keep pushing. That's actually the reason why I like working with him so much, is because he's never satisfied and he constantly wants to push and to break through things and to keep thinking and keep going forward. And, and that's what I like, because I never want anyone to say, oh, I just want you to do it like you did it before. I think that that's stagnation, that's not alive. It was lovely working with him on this, because you know, we just had a really, really, really great time. I think everyone felt quite bad about having as good a time as we had on it. I think, no, it shouldn't be this nice. It should be hard work. I think that is partly to do with, you know, him and his team, obviously, it works very well. It's a very well-oiled machine. And then, again, this being the second commercial for Chanel, we now know how everybody works, so it was all very slick film or doing something like this. It's a collection of people. It's very important to appreciate everybody's hard work and it's not just about me. It's about everybody and normally that amounts to hundreds of people and I think it's very important to watch it and to appreciate everybody's work. We shot it on a Sunday morning quite early in the centre of Paris. We were driving around and around. I didn't quite realise how provocative it was with the beige cat suit and beige bike. And it wasn't until I saw the stand-in riding the bike that I suddenly went... <gasps> Gosh! Made me blush. And travelling! There isn't a story. You kind of make the storyline up. That's what we did. Me and Alberto came up with a backstory of exactly who these two people were and what was going on in the scenes. I think it's very important to ground it in reality because you can tell if there's a vacant face in an advert or in a film, you know, it's quite jarring. It doesn't transport you. This is all about fantasy and it's important that you get transported into a fantasy. What's interesting about doing an advert is people will project onto it. So nobody actually says, this is the storyline and this is what these two people are. But it was very important for all of us making it to know exactly who these two people are and to know where we were in the storyline. You can tell if there's something going on behind the eyes or if there isn't. And it was important for all of us that there was something going on so that there was a chemistry between the two of us and so that we had something to play with. The wonderful thing about these adverts, about all of the adverts that Chanel do for each of their perfumes and for everything, is that it should be a fantasy for the people that are watching it, and they should project whatever they want into it and into the characters, because that's what I think perfume is about. It's about turning you into the person that you want to be, and I think that that's what this kind of advertising and this kind of fantasy is about. It's about your own fantasy, and not what I tell you to think. I think that's very important.